In this video, we're going to talk about how to enter notes in a new project. Here's a blank score on which we're going to add a new track by using the track menu, add. And this is where we'll be able to select the instrument on which we're going to work with. If you want to work with a tablature, we're going to select a fretted instrument such as a guitar or a bass. For this example, we'll work with a six string guitar. Entering new notes on your track is very easy. Simply use the right and left arrows to move in the tab and use the up and down arrows to select which string you want to use. Use your numeric pad to enter the fret number on which you want to enter a new note. Let's enter a note on the fifth string, fifth fret. I can assign to this note any rhythm value I want by using the plus and minus keys on my keyboard or by using the editing panel, which is the first panel on the left of your score. In this example, we entered a quarter note and we can change that note to an eighth note by simply selecting the eighth note in the editing panel. Let's add another note to our track. I'm going to move in my score using the right arrow key to move to the next rhythm value and let's enter a note on the 7th fret of the 5th string. You may change the rhythm value of any note at any given point by simply selecting the note and selecting the new rhythm value you wish to use. If you want to replace a note with a silence, use the R key on your keyboard or use the silence icon in the editing panel. If you enter a silence, it will respect the rhythm value that you specified in the editing panel. You can delete a note by simply selecting that note and hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Notice that if you delete a note that has been entered, that note will be replaced with a silence. If you want to delete the silence, hit the delete key again. Let's now enter a series of 16th notes, 4 16th notes to be exact, on the 4th string on frets 2, 3, 4, and 5. As you can see, these 16th notes are grouped together. Let's add on top of these four notes an additional note with the value of a quarter note. This quarter note will be played simultaneously. In order to do this, we're going to use the different voice tools found underneath the score. The four 16th notes we entered are found on the first voice. Let's move to the second voice, and now we can enter an additional note played with a quarter note. Let's first select the rhythm value we want to use, which is a quarter note. This can be done in the editing panel. And then we'll enter on the second voice an open string played on the sixth string. If you want to make quick changes to your score without having to go back and forth between several voices, you can use the multi-edit voice, which is also found underneath your score on the right side of the four voices you can choose from. Using the different voices is a great way to enter finger picking style guitar tracks where the bass is often doing something different rhythmically than the melody. Let's now enter six sixteenth notes. We're going to select the sixteenth note tool in the editing panel and we'll enter six of these notes on the fourth string frets three, five, Six, three, five, six. Let's now group these different notes together by going to the note menu, duration, and we'll select the value six. Now, my 16th notes correspond to 16th triplet notes, which are gonna work on one beat of our song. Guitar Pro 6 also allows you to enter your score with a standard notation. In order to do so, we're going to create a new track. This can be done by going into the track menu, add, and this time we'll select a non-fretted instrument such as a piano. The piano track is directly assigned to the standard notation. Entering your notes in standard notation is very easy. Simply select where you want to enter the note with your directional keypad or 
your mouse and use any key of the numeric pad to validate your note. Any number is okay because we're not dealing with frets here. Once you enter your notes in the standard notation, you can change its rhythm value by using the editing panel. You may also choose to use flats and sharps. Simply select the note you want to alter and use one of the alterations which is found in the editing panel. Guitar Pro 6 also allows you to use a MIDI instrument such as a keyboard or a MIDI guitar to enter your notes. In order to select this option, you will have to go into the sound menu, MIDI capture, select the device that is connected to your interface. If you're dealing with MIDI guitar, make sure that you select MIDI guitar, set the delay, and press start capture. When you're using a MIDI instrument to record in Guitar Pro 6, you need to know that Guitar Pro 6 is not going to take into consideration the rhythm value of the note you're playing. The rhythm value needs to be set in the editing panel. This option can be very useful when you're dealing with complex chords that you want to enter right away on the spot.